Facebook, we were thrilled to get the news that uh, he was going to be eligible. It just gives us an opportunity to have another talented young player where get ready to play. Uh, and uh, he has really shown great progress so far. He has quick, really picked up the offense quickly. Uh, he's conscientious, he asks questions, he wants to be coached. And uh, the first day he was remarkable. He's calling plays the way they should be called in the huddle, uh, knowing the reads. And uh, uh, we all got a lot of work to do. And he'll get more familiar with the offense. And uh, I'm just uh, glad that now we have another guy in the mix for that backup quarterback competition. How much of an impact do you think uh, being in Alabama and having that experience you know, has helped him um, <clears throat> You know, transition as opposed to being a true freshman and that's sort of Well, thing. in any situation, wherever you are, the more you get to practice and play, and that's what he was doing for a year. He was, he was calling plays. He was executing uh, on the field. And so repetition is the mother of learning. And, and uh, the more you do that, the better you're going to get. So that was just great training no matter where it was. And then now he gets to, to come here, that training just gets to continue. Being the son of, of Jack Del Rio, the son of a football coach, it's, it's such a high level. Do you see that as having, do you see, I guess, kind of remnants of that having an effect on him in, in, in the way he handles himself and the way he... Well, certainly football? being a, a coach's son like myself, you're just around football. So almost by osmosis, you get to hear things, how to do things, how to practice. Uh, specific to the quarterback, what you're supposed to do intangibly, lead, call the play, take charge, where the ball's supposed to go. I'm sure there's many times where he was watching football with his dad and his dad saying, this guy went there, so he should throw it there. So uh, certainly that has helped. And when you're around it, uh, it certainly gives you a great foundation for your future as you develop as a player. What is What are his best qualities? What, what have you seen out of him in five six practices well so far I was I was uh, uh, just so impressed the first day he was calling plays the way they were supposed to be called in the huddle you know after one meeting so uh, uh, you can tell that he's smart um, he works at it he's conscientious with his studies he asks questions he loves to be coached and uh, it's real evident that he loves football and he wants to prepare and he wants to play, and he's doing everything he can right now to, to prepare that when called upon, he's going to be ready. So I'm really pleased with him so far. And physically, he's done a great job. He's, he shows that he has a good arm and an accurate arm. Were you guys anticipating this, him getting waived, getting the, the waiver? Well, we weren't sure. Um, we were preparing as if he were going to be here because – that's the way you need to. You got to prepare for that situation so you can uh, get him in the right frame of mind and then also get him reps just in case you did get the good news. So he was getting reps just like the other backup quarterbacks. And, and now with that behind him, he can really lock in and have great anticipation that he knows what his near future is and he has a chance to uh, compete for the backup quarterback spot.